just on the housing. Um, you, That's a there's, fair point. There, <laughs> there's a housing crisis at the moment and the, uh, it, the main government legislation to deal with it has been delayed by three months in the Senate. Um, that's a long time to wait for Australians who are looking for a solution to this. Are you planning any additional measures in the meantime to perhaps work towards a solution to this? Um, well, look, the, the Greens and the Coalition are combined in what is a, a new no-alition in blocking this legislation, which is what it's been. It is completely irrational for the Greens political party to say they support more public housing and then block legislation, a $10 billion Housing Australia Future Fund, uh, which will result in 30,000 additional social housing units, including 4,000 reserved for women and children escaping domestic violence. Uh, the time for these political games has well passed. This isn't the first time it's been deferred, it's the second. And I don't understand uh, what, uh, what the thought processes are uh, behind doing this. It is quite irrational and we remain committed to the Housing Australia Future Fund. Uh, we have processes in, in place that, that will advance uh, those issues. And uh, we also, of course, just last Saturday, announced $2 billion of immediate injection into public housing. That comes on top of the $1.6 billion extension the coming financial year of the Commonwealth State Housing Agreement. It comes on top of the $2 billion additional we put into community housing funding to be available. It comes on top of the largest increase in rent assistance in 30 years. It comes on top of one of our first actions in government was to bring forward the $575 million that was sitting there to support uh, housing. And it comes on top of the measures that we had in the budget for build to rent that were resulting between 150 and 250,000 uh, units, social, uh, sorry, affordable uh, units and, and private sector rental properties being made available by providing that incentive. The key here is supply. The Coalition talk about that, but they're blocking it. The Greens talk about it, and they also talk about social housing, but they're blocking it. And it is, it is incomprehensible uh, that at a time when housing is an issue and where everyone knows that housing supply is the issue, that they continue to block this legislation. 